Hello everyone! Well, since last time a few changes happened to the uh, Semaphore uh, keyboard, well, especially the uh, the firmware on it. So let's have a look at the uh, the work screen here and go and dive into the Blue Micro BLE firmware. So let's uh, minimize the build here and uh, let's go in the firmware. So into keyboards, into Semaphore. So a couple of things, if you remember. There was uh, in one portion of the videos where I indicated, oh, how do I get the battery to show up? Well, it now, it now does show up. And let me show you here. So Bluetooth settings. Now, if I bring this over here, you can see I've got my Luddite, I've got my Seta 4, which is actually, I gotta wake it up. So it should come up, it's connected and it's 30% battery left. So when I plug it in, it'll charge up. So I've got the battery set up on it. And how did I do that? So let's go in, in here. And, and that is done in the keyboard definition file or like the keyboard config. And this has to be done on the master, the right, and the left. So it's right here. So if you look at the top, just before we define the, the, the rope and the columns here, there's that one line here, BLA, BLA LiPo monitoring one. This essentially turns on the the battery monitoring service. One other thing that we've actually made a change uh, recently is we've added a, a hardware mapping file where we can actually say this is using the Blue Micro 20C, but we've also got uh, new mappings where if I go into the uh, mapping, AVR mapping, now I can see that there's different hardwares. So the the Blue Micro version 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 0, B, and then 2, 0, C. So there's minor changes. And then there's the Blue Nano, which like ultimately never will uh, will get out there. The Blue Nano 2 as well, it probably won't get out there because it's too complicated to build. Uh, and then there's uh, like a default here. Now, any new uh, hardware that's going to be based on the uh, like a Blue Micro, sorry, a Pro Micro footprint, then it's going to be just a matter of adding a new definition in here and, and mapping it back out into the keyboard configs. So that's the AVR mapping file, one of the changes that's uh, happened recently. So let's go back here. So this this change, uh, it was just a matter of like adding these lines uh, in here to, to bring the, the, the LiPo monitoring and to make sure that these are always mapped out to the correct GPIOs. Now we can go, so that was the battery monitoring piece that we were wondering, how do we actually get it turned on? So that's that's how it was. Uh, there was nothing around the key maps. Now, the other piece that we looked into that we had a problem with was uh, in the key map. Uh, if you remember, uh, at one point I had trouble, oh, how do I access the layers? And it was jumping and doing all sorts of funny things. So the way to actually take care of it is by using the, the transparent keys. So if I go, for example, right here um, on my left here, so I've got that lower, which maps out to, uh, I don't remember one or like layer one or layer two, but that lower, and actually we just highlight, yeah, it doesn't quite show because it's a big monster thing here. Uh, but that lower actually maps out to one of the, the um, that lower maps out to one of the layers. And then when we press it, what we want to do is make sure that it keeps saying to the keyboard, I'm on layer one, I'm on layer one, I'm on layer one. Now this KC transparent essentially forces that to happen. Uh, so KC trans, if it actually punches through, so if I've got layer three, and I've got KC trans, it's gonna go, okay, what? Well, I'm gonna go to layer two. What's on layer two? KC trans, okay, I'm gonna go to layer one. Oh, KC trans again. I'm gonna go in the, you can see layer zero or the, the master one uh, or the main one and says, oh, okay, this is lower. So I'm gonna do use a, a lower key. So that's how the transparent um, key code works. So all we had to do was instead of just doing a, a, a blank line, just say KC trans, and then it was all taken care of. So what we can see now is on the on the semaphore as I go and type on it, it'll be like all fine. 
So those were the two you know, the key changes that happened recently uh, on the, the develop branch of uh, the Blue Macro. So another piece that we uh, we weren't too sure about was uh, these uh, these ISO keys. Well, these ISO keys are already defined. So these ISO keys, like these shifted keys, these are already defined. Um, and if I go and look into uh, either the AV, the advanced key codes, I can see that there's a define. Uh, if I with the macro S with the key code, it essentially calls the left shift modifier with that same key code. So that's what happens when we actually uh, like call this uh, on here. So let's go back to our key map here. So our key map, this works perfectly fine. So that's why now we actually do have it um, right. So it's in the it's in the other side. So right here we do have it, and it works perfectly fine as I indicated. Okay. Uh, another piece to note to make sure that we've got Control Alt and GUI keys working in the layers. We're also passing the transparent uh, key codes. So those were some of the changes that uh, we implemented uh, after the last video to make sure that everything was uh, up to speed. So subscribe to stay tuned on all the changes that are going to be coming up next. Have a good one.